Hey, this is Raul for Bass Musician Magazine, and today we're going to take a close look at the Hartke TX300 300, 300 watt bass amplifier. I'm holding it in one hand. It is lightweight, it is compact, and it's got lots of sound options for us bass players, so it can be applied in many different kinds of situations. Let's take a closer look. You're getting 300 watts of Class D bass amp power out of this very compact, lightweight unit. Weighs in around five pounds. It's about a foot wide, nine inches deep, about three inches tall. When we start looking at the features, you've got a quarter inch instrument input. You've got a mute switch so you can kill the sound entirely. Then they've added in a couple of features that are very useful, but many times people use external pedals for. To start out with, we've got a drive circuit that can give you added distortion effect, kind of ranging from a warm sound to an actual buzz. Right next to that, we have a compressor that helps increase your dynamic control and at the same time helps you control the frequencies where you're trimming off the extremes, the highs and the lows. Next, we've got a gain and we're pretty used to using that where the higher the gain, the louder your sound is going to be there. Right next to that, we have a three band EQ. The shape control is kind of a two part thing where you have a switch to turn the system on and off. When it is on, it's designed to enhance the sound of your bass. To modify the control while it's on, you turn the knob. If you are turning the knob clockwise, it's going to notch uh, higher frequencies. If you move it counterclockwise, it applies it to the lower frequencies. Three band EQ, very straightforward. Bass for the low frequencies, mid for the mids, treble for the highs. The master knob is going to control the overall volume for the entire amplifier. There is a eight inch auxiliary input so that you can run your CD player or MP4 in there. You've got one eighth inch headphones out so you can use this as a practice tool without waking up everybody. When we look at the backside of the unit, we've got speaker output. It'll work with either quarter inch speaker cable or speak on. So you've got the option of using either of those. It's got quarter inch output and input for power amp and preamp. It's got a direct out, direct line out XLR. So if you're working with a mixing board or you're using this as the DI box, you've got that option. There is a switch on the back where you can change this to run for 220 to 240 volts. You would have to have the different power cord that's appropriate for your region. The one I'm using is the US power cord configuration. Also in the back, we've got the on and off switch. At the very bottom, we'll notice it's got nice little felt feet and help minimize the vibrations that the head is receiving if you set it on top of your cab like most of us do. Here we've got my setup. We've got the TX300 using the HD112 cab. This is a perfect combination because they're both rated at 300. They're suited perfectly for each other and it's a great combination with size. My cables, I'm using Astro both for the speak on and the instrument cable. Remember that you can use quarter inch cable for the speaker. So you've got lots of possibilities and options. We've got the mute feature. You'll hear there's no sound there. It goes red indicating that it's been blocked off. But when you need it, release and we've got Let's hear some low notes. So as we work our way from left to right, the first thing we notice is the drive feature. I've got it down to nothing, but as we go, you'll notice it gives you that lovely drive sound. If I use a pick, I think that sounds best. could have more or you can just take it down and not use it at all now compression takes those extremes off of your signal so if we want to bring it up some go back to my sound is indicating that it's doing some compressing for us. If we take it to the highest so that it's kind of clean, cleaning off the extreme edges. You 
notice that you lose some of what you may like to hear. So a little compression. I've heard a lot of players tell me they don't want a lot, just enough. There we go. With the gain, when it's down to nothing, you hear absolutely nothing. And you bring it in. Okay, we'll bring it up a little more. All right, now we're going to move to the shape feature. And as I mentioned before, it's not engaged right now. So let's engage the shape feature. Push it in, lit up. And it's enhancing the sound. It's all the way to the counterclockwise. Let's take it to the middle. You can see how that opened that up nicely. Let's go all the way to the extreme. Okay. With the EQ, what I'm going to do is I'm going to set this in the middle. I'll turn off that. With the EQ, as we mentioned, you have your bass, your mid, and your treble. So if we turn it down, you kind of lose. I kind of like it in the 12 o'clock position. We've got enough, but if you take it higher, that boosts right through there. Go to the mids, we'll take it down. It kind of softens things up a little there. We'll go back to 12 o'clock. It's nice. Let's go all the way up on the mids. I think that might be too much. Bring it back to 12 and then treble. Since we're playing bass, I know a lot of us don't want an awful lot of treble, but when you don't have any. Go all the way up. Now. Go back to the 12 o'clock. Master volume, of course, when you've got none. But this gives you an idea. We enhance our sound a little with a shape, kind of combining things. Lots of possibilities with this Mighty Might Powerhouse guy. I also will mention that my bass, because it's got an active EQ built into it, it's usually a hot signal, this amp is handling it like a champ. A lot of times it'll make things kind of fart out and fuzz out, not with this guy. It's doing exactly what I want and it is an active bass. I think you've got a good idea what the Hartke TX300 can do. I want you to think what it might do for you. This compact, lightweight, very powerful bass amplifier has many sound options, ways that you can modify, and it doesn't matter what kind of music you play, the clarity of the sound, all of this comes through and it will give you what you're looking for. In addition to that, it can lend itself as a practice amp with a headphone and input. It can work as a DI box going straight to the house so venues large and small, this might be the amp for you. If you want more information, go to hartkey.com. This has been Raul with the TX300 coming to you on Bass Musician Magazine.